Georgie Bombay! Hi, I'm Georgie with PLCCulture.com. Firstly, I wanted to talk to you about your background in animation because you've worked a lot on Gravity Falls, and I love that show so much. And then now you're directing this movie. I wanted to ask, what is it about animation that you love so much? I love the uh, opportunities it gives you, the possibilities, the the way that you can make uh, fantastic things feel real for, for an audience. Like in this movie, the amount of mutants that we have, the amount of uh, 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 impossible things that we can depict side by side with uh, this like realistic caricatured depiction of New York. Uh, it just, it's so limitlessly inventive. Um, and uh, I think a wonderful tool for emotional expression. That's awesome. Uh, was there any specific show or series that inspired you to get into animation? Uh, when I was a kid, I really loved the original Nicktoon series. Like I loved Hey Arnold, uh, and I loved that, unlike a lot of shows, it was just about kids, like real kids who felt uh, normal. Uh, and then when I got um, older, when I, when I became a teen and Cartoon Network started airing uh, Toonami and I, I could see like Dragon Ball Z and uh, Gundam Wing and, and things like that, I, I really started to love uh, anime and it, it just felt like, it was like animation and it was being shown on a kid's network but it didn't necessarily feel like it was made for kids and I didn't feel like uh, necessarily talked down to. And uh, I don't know, I really appreciated that when I was young. Yeah, that feels like that's also the case with your movie as well. It doesn't feel like you're being tugged down to or anything like that. And it's really funny. Uh, oh, thank you. I wanted to ask you, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask you, can you talk a little bit about what directing animation is like compared to someone who's directing a live action? What are your like daily tasks like in comparison? It's, it's, a, it's like running a marathon instead of a sprint. Like produ uh, producing one of these things takes often three years, sometimes longer. And it's, um, it, it's a lot of art directing up front and guiding a team of artists to uh, create the visual look uh, and then a team of storyboard artists too because every shot has to be drawn by hand before uh, it ever gets turned into beautiful CG. So it's a lot of uh, guiding teams to do that and then when we start production giving acting notes to animators and helping them get the best performances out of the characters, doing voice records with the actual talent. Um, and then post-production uh, is just finishing all of those shots and, and mixing. Post-production ends up being kind of similar to live action. Um, but we're not, we're not cutting a film. You kind of edit as you go in, a, in an animated movie. Really? OK. Um, and I wanted to ask you, uh, lastly, who is the master splinter in your life? That's a really, really good question. Wow. Um, I would say my uh, Aunt Heidi was uh, like really, really stood up for me a lot as a kid and looked out for me and kind of pushed me to always be my best and helped me follow my dreams of, of becoming an animator. Um, and uh, I don't know, she was just wise and, and helpful and um, uh, really shaped so much of, of who I am. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And congratulations on the film. Thank you so much.